Hi everyone, this is Wei Wu from examgo.com. Few days ago, some of my students just texted me a few problems which they think is mission impossible to solve. So today, I'm going to cover one of those mission impossible problems. So let's take a look at this quadratic function problem with maximum mark 6, which belongs to paper 1. As you can see, this is a non GDC problem. Find the value of root 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus so on, carry in finitely. So you guys think it's this mission impossible to calculate because you are just adding in finitely to the end of the world, right? But of course, you can easily KO this problem if you are using my Weiwu's substitution trick. So here we go. So we begin the substitution trick by letting x equal to the thing that we want to find here. So x will be equal root 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus so on to infinitely, okay? So now you can see the square root outside is pretty annoying, right? So to make that square root disappear, I am going to squaring both sides. So we will have x square equal root 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus so on, and then square. Okay, so if you get this right, you will be awarded M1 for the evidence of valid approach. So after you have squaring both sides, of course your left hand side will stay as x squared, but for right hand side, the square roots outside will be vanished. Yeah, square root and square cancelling each other. So you will have 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus root 30 plus so on. So only the thing inside the square root remains, okay? But now you can actually see you got the same thing in common, really? Yeah, the same thing is actually the second term here. It is the same as x. Why? Because for this term, you are just still adding infinitely, right? And for x, you are also adding infinitely. So which actually means the two terms are actually the same. So that's why I call this substitution trick. Because next, they are the same. So you can just substitute the second term for x, okay? Yeah, just replace it by x because they're just the same thing, okay? So, if you get this right, you will be awarded M1 for the evidence of valid approach, and of course A1 for getting the correct equation right there. So now you want to solve this quadratic equation. Of course, the first thing is to move every term to the left-hand side to make it of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So x squared stays the same on the left, and now x to the left becomes minus x. 30 to the left becomes minus 30. So your right hand side will become 0, okay? So in order to solve this equation, it is not hard because you can do some simple cross method over there. Yeah, of course, you guys have learned it during your GCSE. So for the cross method, it's pretty obvious. I'm going to break x squared to become x times x. And minus 30 here, after you just think for a few seconds, you are going to pick minus 30 to be minus 6 times positive 5. Yeah, because after you have chosen this combination and doing the cross product, minus 6 times x becomes minus 6x, x times positive 5 becomes plus 5x, and they are just combining for minus x. Yeah, minus 6 plus 5 becomes minus 1, so minus 1x. And this is just the same as the middle term of this quadratic equation, so which means those factors are actually x minus 6 times x plus 5. So you will have x minus 6 times x plus 5 
equal to zero. And of course, if you get this right, you will be awarded M1 for the evidence of solving this quadratic equation. So x minus 6 times x plus 5 equal to 0, that is pretty obvious, x minus 6 equal to 0, or x plus 5 equal to 0. So x minus 6 equal to 0, which means x equal to 6, x plus 5 equal to 0, x equal to minus 5, okay? So which value is correct? Of course, it's not hard to see x equal to 6 is correct, and x equal to minus 5 must be rejected. Why? Because the root there is actually the positive square root. So x equal to minus 5 rejected because x must be positive, okay? So if you get this right, you will be awarded a 1 for getting the final correct value x equal to 6. And of course, our 1 for stating the correct reason why x equal to minus 5 must be rejected. So that's all for my way with substitution trick, and I'm going to see you as the next video.